and welcome everyone to Gold Asset of the Day for the 28th of September 2022, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So this week we have seen gold priced in British pounds slingshot all the way up to all-time highs. Of course, that's as a result of the flash flash lower that we had on the pound at the beginning of the week, breaking down to historic lows, slingshotting the US dollar index back up towards 20-year highs. And with that, of course, the euro, US dollar continue to lose parity with the dollar index that further provided opportunities yet again to sniper in and pick up much lower prices for the metals here before we transition into the next quarter. We talked to you through this previously. End of September, you have end of quarter profit taking. We've also had public holidays in Israel at the start of the week, of course, less liquidity in the market, more exaggerated moves here. We've absolutely seen that with everything from stocks to crypto to energy prices all tanking at the start of the week, but we've already seen some significant bounces off the lows here from the start of the week. So you will know that gold came down, retested 1,620 US dollars per ounce. Subsequently, we broke back out to 1,645 US dollars per ounce. I'm looking at these levels down towards the 1600s for accumulation here at the end of the quarter, at the end of September, take your opportunities to accumulate when the fear is at its maximum right now in the markets. If you've been waiting on the sidelines in order to get in to markets at much more favorable prices, you absolutely have it right now. The dollar index is renowned over September for being extremely strong. It's to be expected to get downward pressure on many commodities, which is why we've taken the opportunity here to start buying back in to natural gas after we've had over a 3,500 point correction all the way down towards the swing lows. As you know, we snipered in previously to silver. We still have our position on from $17.69 cents per ounce, which essentially had the biggest one day move just over two weeks ago, breaking out to the upside over a 7% move. We've seen platinum prices over this month break out 10% to the upside. In fact, I'm also interested in platinum if we do get a pullback, back down towards $800 per ounce or lower for reaccumulation. As you know, with gold here, I do like these levels down towards the 1600 zone. And I am looking for further inflows to come in once you move into a new quarter, once you move into a new month, once we then transition into the month of October. Also be aware that as we move into next week, we have a public holiday for the week with China on their national day holidays. So this is going to provide further thinner liquidity, more exaggerated moves in the market for you to capitalize. At the moment on Google, how to trade is one of the most common search terms that is trending and it's no surprise. In the current financial climate right now, the markets are going from crisis to crisis to crisis. We had an energy crisis, then a food crisis, then a supply chain crisis then an inflation crisis, and now, of course, we have a currency crisis. In crisis, there is opportunity. This is where you can capitalize on massively with the current volatility in the markets. Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Citibank, they're all preparing their clients for what they are anticipating to be one of the most profitable quarters on record, especially given the current volatility that we have in the market. So right now, many commodities, they're trading back at their swing lows, back at accumulation, massive opportunities to be had here if you know what you're doing. And this is where it comes down to utilizing data, statistics, market intelligence, learning the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the quarterly cycle for each commodity, further compound that with the cycles, the seasonality, alongside that, the intermarket correlations, the ratios in the market, the capital flows, the key areas of liquidity, and then of course, how the hedge funds, money managers, banks, and institutions are positioned in the market alongside the commercials, and then further compound that with knowledge and understanding of the fundamentals, the macroeconomics, and the narratives in the market. That will help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, ditch those outdated technical analysis and gimmicky technical indicators, join a community of successful traders, learn the professional research-driven approach to the market, there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to join our professional mentorship program.